Okay, so time of the show to talk about our recommendations then, our knows and our not knows. I'm going to go down the list here. You're up first, Sarah. What you got? So um, I don't know if you know this about me. You know, I love trials, but I also love the Olympics. Like I am obsessed with the Olympics. And what a lot of people don't realize is that the Olympic trials are going on. And sometimes like, cause I just love the, like the stories and everything, like seeing people's like Olympic dreams come true. And so the trials sometimes are even like more fun to watch because the, like they made it to the Olympics, like, and that is just like so amazing to see. So right now is the swimming trials. I just saw that. I saw somebody broke a world record in the oh, yeah. butterfly. Order. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. yeah. It was a girl. Um, and the track and field trials um, are happening this weekend. And then next weekend is the gymnastics trials. So, like, go is this all check on NBC, out. by the way. Is this all uh, yeah, and Peacock. Stuff? Yeah, and Peacock. Okay. So, cool. um, so go check out the Olympic trials. Cause, like I said, like, I mean, I cry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh my gosh, they wanted to go to the Olympics so bad and they made their dream come true. It's so great. So anyway, I love watching the trials and the Olympics. So. Is Bob Costa awesome. still doing it or I haven't watched it? Bob already. Costa. Um, <laughs> maybe actual Olympics, yeah, but I probably can't I don't... get him for the trials. That's probably right. He's a little busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, like the event, like announcers are are usually like so. Rowdy Gaines is doing it for the swimming, and he's always the one doing it for the swimming in the right. Olympics, Olympics, um, and gymnastics. Um, they always have the same Tim Daggett. He always says like you know the first rule of gymnastics: fly high and stick the landing. Like he literally will say that every <laughs> single meet. So like it's all the same announcers. So I I love it. All right, cool. Okay, what you got, Bobby? I got nothing today, man. <laughs> okay. That's like, fine. I'm out. Not a, not a big week. Yeah, not a big week for me. <laughs> That's fine. Paul, what you got? Uh, I recently got new lights. So they're Elgato Air lights. And they're like the most oh, amazing I lights I had. Yeah. They're not cheap. No, they're good. They're, <laughs> not, cheap. they're, <laughs> they're not cheap. <laughs> but I have one up here. Have money one worth spent for sure. Because I love the fact that you could easily control the brightness and the temperature. And it just yeah. makes it more yep. easier. Uh, before I had like one light from the front, now I just have two lights from the side, and really, really nice, really, really great. Okay, I've got a null and a not null this week. So Woo! my null, um, I think I've talked about it here before. I think I've talked about it before. Um, but um, I drink tea a bunch. I drink coffee too, but I have a nice coffee machine. But I drink tea Surprising. as well. So I, I drink more tea than I do coffee. So in order to ha make tea, you need a kettle to make tea, right? So you've got to have an electric kettle. Having a stove kettle is like archaic it's like dark ages boomers stuff. Have yeah boomer stuff yeah so you need to have an electric kettle so i bought the best electric kettle you can buy okay wow. this thing i've had it for 15 months and it's died oh no oh. the temperature sensor in it has died it overboils now so for 195 dollars like come on that it's got to do the basics it yeah. has to do the basics it has to boil water to a temperature <laughs> and it doesn't do it anymore so this is my no for the week i would yeah. not be buying another one of these what's your replacement the fact that it's... i mean you gotta have yeah. a replacement right i ordered should... one for tomorrow maybe that'll be my uh not not for next okay. week <laughs> right. i'm not gonna spoil it <laughs> but i have ordered a different kind nice um but my not no for this week is a tv show new tv show dark matter on oh, apple tv nice. plus That's, it's I've like watched a... episode one Okay, it gets better. Okay, too. good. Like, keep keep watching All it. Right. It's good. Bobby's like good because it's like yeah, yeah. Keep watching. I would. That's what I was gonna say. Keep watching past the first episode. Um, it gets better. It's a kind of like a um, it's like a dark sci-fi thriller. I guess you could call it. It's well acted. Um, it is very well. No acted. No doubt about it, that. It, I just didn't get yeah. past episode one, but like, yep, yeah. It becomes way more interesting when you understand like what's going on. Yeah, like definitely when you understand like the kind of the sciencey part behind it and like what's it, it's good. Uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. Dark Matter on Apple TV Plus. You can watch the first episode for free, by the way, even if you don't have Apple TV Plus. So, nice. We'll check it out. You can go uh, check that out. 